All right, all the boundaries and drive around and all the stuff, I thought I'd make another video. This is Agrobot, it's been resurrected because I open GPS probably should stay stable. So this is one way to, to test, uh, test new ideas and that sort of thing before they become Ag Open GPS. Now here's the boundary. Now you can delete all of them and then all at once rather than trying to do each one individually. And then you can go into Google Earth as before and, and importing KML files, but you can save them all now instead of doing one at a time, which was a terrible pain in the neck. So here you can save your place as all the different boundaries right in the field directory. And then go back into Ag Open GPS and then you can load multi. And here this loads the outer boundary and all the inner boundaries all at once. And it does everything, which is kind of slick. And here's your entire field. And in boundaries, you can set whether you want to do drive by or drive through or turn around all that sort of thing and then return back to the field you can see that that now is turn around instead of drive by and yeah fun and games i was talking about mazes and stuff at the different conferences so i thought i'd explain kind of how this works well, lots of ways to solve a maze you can put your hand on the right side or you can uh, walk around the entire thing but that's not very efficient but the other way you could do is go block by block and start counting and then you go all the different dead ends and you find all the different paths and how many steps it takes to get to your goal. And this is a simple little example. You have a goal and a start and you can see that we go 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all the way to the start. There's two ways to go, 10, 11, whoop, 10, so that way is longer. So then all we do is we go from the start to 13 and we just start counting down 13 12 11 10 9 and find our way back we can see that there's multiple paths but there's only one very much shortest path so this looks a lot like a field <clears throat> the ones <clears throat> excuse me the ones are the boundary and the two is where our tractor sitting and the 18 is where we want to go then we just start counting up counting up till we get to our goal and uh once we get to our goal then we had, can count back our paths back to the start. And this one's got two identical because it's just two square. So we can overlay that grid now on the field. You can see that the red dots <clears throat> inside the boundary are like the ones that are impassable. And then the outside are walkable. We can go from white dot to white dot. So all we do is we start at the one end of the field. We create our maze path around the outside of it and then get to the start. So just like that, we start and we stop. We use Dubins to get to the maze path. And calculate that no matter how far it is it will generally well should find the shortest path so real time in terms of obstacles this is what it does so now your a b line will be able to drive around obstacles which i think is kind of slick now it seems simple but yeah there's a shit ton of math in behind to uh, make this all happen of course, but that's the way it works. All right, in terms of obstacles for recorded path, it's the same way. You start out somewhere in the field, the, uh, the maze will find a way to the start. If it can't, of course, it just comes back null, and which says, no, can't get going, so it just won't go. Now here we're doing a maze to the, there's the recorded path, We've done our job. Now we go back home again and it'll find its way back home. Again, if it can't find its way back home, it'll just stop because it can't find its way back home. Okay, back in the field again, in real time. There you can see it drew a path around and then we can just get going. Zoom in a little bit, kind of hard to see those red lines, but Now it just draws around. So maybe it's not the most efficient way to get around an obstacle to, uh, to drive around it, but it is a way to, to deal with obstacles. Now remember we designated this one as, as a U-turn style. So when it gets to that obstacle, it'll turn around. All the sequencing, everything works on both the obstacles and the 
and a U-turn, like the normal U-turn. So here it'll shut off once it gets eight meters in. So anyway, thought I'd explain how it works. Works kind of slick. So one day eventually it'll show up in Ag Open GPS, but there's still some work to figure out, some bugs to fix. So anyway, thank you.